सो हाय पीपल ऑफ द इंटरनेट आई एम जयशुरन सो दिस लॉकडाउन पीरियड ऑफ कोर्स आई वुडेंट हैव पुट एनी वीडियोस अप सो आई थॉट मे बी जस्ट रैंप इट अप अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ कोर्स आई एम वर्किंग ऑन अ अ लॉन्ग व्लॉग ऑफ ऑल द थिंग्स विथ रिगार्ड्स टू नेचर व्हिच हैपन ड्यूरिंग द लॉकडाउन सो दैट वुड बी कमिंग अप सून सो इंस्टेड ऑफ जस्ट टू कीप द कंटेंट रोलिंग आई थॉट आई कुड डू अ अगेन अ वीडियो ऑन वाइल्ड लाइफ फोटोग्राफी टिप्स so last year around this time i would have done one video with 10 tips and it's doing well so i thought instead of me talking again the same whole face i thought maybe we could uh, get the opinions and views from an upstart on instagram who i met a few months ago and uh, this guy is called rohan from uh, karnataka and he's doing a very very good job and his photos are very professional and he has a keen interest on wildlife too so i thought why not get him on the video so i hope you like um, this content and do check out his uh, instagram page and uh, follow his work goodbye hi guys i am rohan mitraj i am here to give you five basic tips on wildlife photography before that i would like to give a small introduction on myself i am a 17 year old passionate wildlife photographer i have roamed forests like kana kabini Nagara Hole, Bandipura, and sighted some big cats too. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. Tip number one: Being a wildlife photographer, it's very very important to learn the basic behavior of wildlife. So, read more books and make friends while on a safari. And there are many books available in market written by Kenneth Anderson and Jim Corbett. They have written their experiences while hunting and as well as the animal behavior as per their knowledge. Tip number two: Patience is the key for wildlife photography. Well, I had five to four continuous dry safaris in Kabini, and I didn't lose the hopes and confidence. Next time, Mother Earth blessed me with the best sightings which I can remember for the lifetime, and. never get too excited while taking the pictures it can really result in clicking the bad images our next tip tip number 3 people often ask me rohan which is the best camera and lens for wildlife photography well i would like to tell there are no such camera and lenses i have few friends who frame beautiful pictures using a basic level dslr camera and a kit lens So while buying a camera you should just make sure that you are buying a camera which can act well in low light condition and as well as the camera which has more auto focus points Tip number 4 Well use auto focusing and back button focusing there will be situations where the bird is in flight or the predator hunting prey every time you can't be twisting or turning the focusing ring right so the best way to tackle this problem is using the auto focus and the back button focusing so if you don't know much about it you can always feel free to dm me on instagram it would be pleasure to explain you there our last tip tip number 5 always try to shoot in raw because while editing you will get more flexibility than the jpeg jpeg is 75% processed image whereas raw is unprocessed image so you can play around with shadows highlights and exposure color corrections and what not so i would like to suggest you to shoot always in the raw
okay guys these are five basic tips for beginners if you feel this were helpful please do like the video and don't forget to subscribe this channel